Crash at 6, 38% of kids killed in 2020 car crashes were not wearing a seatbelt. That's the most recent national data from the CDC. And Oklahoma is the only state that doesn't require kids over 8 to wear a seatbelt. News Channel 8's Daniela Ibarra looks into a lawmaker's push to help save lives. Daniela. Brenna, for a lot of people, it is just second nature. You step in your car, close the door, and then strap on the seatbelt. The CDC says this is a simple tool that can drastically improve your chances of survival if you ever got in a car crash. I see it strictly as a safety issue. Um, it, to me, it, it's a it's a combination of being safe and being responsible. A safety first bill. Oklahoma okay, State well, Senator Roland well, Peterson well, is trying to make law. My bill takes it to 16 years old that they have to be belted in. This is the third time he's proposed a version of Senate Bill 681. It failed twice in previous legislative sessions. The only pushback that I can get is it's government overreach. Back in September, five Sand Springs kids were involved in a life-changing car accident. Two survived but were hospitalized. Three died, including Jesse Saner's 16-year-old daughter, Kira. She was my best friend. I miss her. She was in the back seat. Responding officers reported that nobody in the car was wearing a seatbelt. Just why? <laughs> I know I'll never get the answer. State law says every driver and front seat passenger has to wear a seatbelt. In the back seat, the law says seatbelts are only required for those eight and under. I'd love for that law to be changed. Senator Peterson hopes this go around, other legislators will support the bill through the end. All I can tell you that I've tried. I mean, I've got, there were people in my district uh, that was affected by it. Uh, we have statistics showing that, uh, that, that it will save lives. The bill passed out of the Public Safety Committee earlier this month. Reporting live on Lookout Mountain, Daniela Ibarra, News Channel 8.